Hello and welcome to our next session. Uh, and in this session, we're going to be looking at AFDDs. Uh, AFDDs, uh, now they are well known and uh, uh, to some might argue infamous uh, AFDDs. Again, I'm going to point you to uh, BS 7671 and in particular regulation 421.1.7. And here very simply it says, arc fault detection devices conforming to a particular standard, and that standard is BSEN 62606, shall be provided, again, we get that shall word, shall be provided for single phase AC final circuits supplying socket outlets with a rated current not exceeding 32 amps. And so this means ring circuits uh, at 32 amps, radial circuits at 20 amps, uh, radial circuits at 32 amps, all of this uh, are included. But they're included as a shall in four very particular and special locations. Firstly, uh, higher risk residential buildings. And what we mean by that is, is six stories or 18 meters, uh, and whichever comes first, you start from there, and the, the whole of the building then would have to have AFDDs on those circuits supplying socket outlets. Secondly, HMOs, that is housing multiple occupation. However they're defined, they're included. Uh, thirdly, purpose-built student accommodation. We're not dealing with a, a, a normal townhouse that's just been turned into something, but specifically accommodation that's been designed, built for students. And the final one is for care homes. And you'll notice that all of these are higher risk locations. And because we don't have control of the things that are being plugged in or how they're going to be used or, or what happens to, to flexes as they run across floors, an AFDD is an ideal device that will enable serial arc faults to be hoovered up uh, as well as uh, parallel arc faults. So AFDDs to be used for all circuits supplying socket outlets in those high risk buildings and recommended for use in all others. And that includes domestic dwellings. Well, thanks for watching. Hope this has been of help.